Love conquers all. Nothing can stop us from spreading contagious love. This is what we have been trying to live in these past four to five months as a Focolare and as a community faced with the perils and challenges of the coronavirus outbreak. The same message that we have been trying to spread out to friends and families that we are in contact with. The Contagious Love Challenge brought out creative ways of loving. It continues on even after the Run for Unity event, and at present, we have gathered contributions of 35 video clips submitted by people mostly from Thailand. There were also some contributions from the Philippines, Italy, Portugal, Slovakia, and Brazil. These acts of love were made by children, youth, adults, families, and villages. Not only Catholics participated, but also our Protestant friends, Buddhists, and Muslims. These clips were shared through different social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Line, WhatsApp, and Messenger, and also through the different Focolari websites, the website of the Chiang Mai Diocese, and others. The contents were varied, and many other activities that express concrete love. In front of the adverse effects of the coronavirus pandemic, what can we do more to concretely embrace Jesus forsaken? How do we face this situation? Through communion, love expressed in concrete action. Marisol visited one of our poor families and brought some dried food and snacks for the children. After she left, that family shared what little they received to two other families. They said they could not consume them knowing that their neighbors do not have anything to eat. This experience, coupled with Emmaus' words, nothing can stop us from loving, became the spark that led us to do more for families affected by COVID-19. To date, we have been helping 70 families who reside in Chiang Mai, 26 families in Alahu village, and 34 other families in the slum area. God's providence arrives through the generous hearts of many. The Bishop of Chiang Mai, the communion of families and friends from Singapore, Italy, Portugal, Vietnam, and Bangkok. Farmers in hill tribe villages who are also poor themselves have sent their produce of rice, fruits, and vegetables to be shared to the people in the city. Along with material help, we also try to lend our ears and provide spiritual nourishment and emotional support to our families. Personal conversations, calls, and family visits were means to accompany them during these trying times. The help that we receive is not only shared to the members of the Focolare, but also to other people outside the confines of the movement who are in dire need. Our collaboration with Caritas Chiang Mai, the Chiang Mai Catholic Mission Center, and the Good Shepherd Sisters has enabled us to provide help to 110 Catholic families in the Elephant Camp. They are mostly Myanmar families from Loikau who have been working there for more than 10 years. During the COVID-19 lockdown, the Elephant Camp closed down to help build a better world and future together, by responding to Pope Francis' call, Bishop Francis Xavier Vira invited everyone to participate in the Laudato Si project. In response, we tried to involve the entire community to be aware of what is happening to our common home and take concrete steps to safeguard the environment, write and share their experiences, compose essays, write poems on saving God's creation, paint or draw pictures, and plant vegetables and trees in their own homes. Twenty video clips were created and shared through various social media platforms and websites as a part of the Laudato Si Week celebration. On the 7th of June, Feast of the Pentecost, the church in Chiang Mai opened its doors to the faithful and celebrated Mass after months of closure. 
In his homily and final message, Bishop Francis Xavier Vira mentioned the Focolari three times and shared our concrete actions for the needy during the COVID-19 outbreak and our activities concerning Laudato Si in front of hundreds of mass goers in the Sacred Heart Cathedral. We realized it was the Church's way of recognizing the work of the Focolare and also an occasion to shout from the rooftop the love of God for the poor and for the environment. What we did was just a drop in the ocean. But we hope that because it was done out of love, it will create endless ripples of kindness and compassion to other people and to all of creation. We are glad to be instruments to convey this message that really love conquers all.